Hey, what's up guys? It's Afir. Hope you're having an amazing day. Today, we're going to be taking a look at another Galaxy Note 7 ROM for Galaxy Note 3. But let me tell you guys real quick that this is not a Galaxy S7 Edge ported ROM with the Grace UX on top like I showed in my past videos. It is a full Note 7 ported ROM, so you're going to have almost all the Note 7 features here. Of the device, obviously, doesn't have the Iris scanner and the fingerprint scanner, so these two features are not going to work, but you can enjoy the other features which we have with this ROM. Now, this ROM is called Dark Lord ROM, and talking about the supported devices, this ROM is going to work on n 9005 and 9006 and 9000T, the Korean model and many others where you can see all the supported devices in the description of this video. Le now let me show you guys a really cool feature of this ROM. So here in the S Pen you can see this translate uh, shortcut here. So let me show you how does this work. Now say guys you are in the browser and you come up with a word which is in different language and you want it to be translated into English. So now you can do that really easily with the S Pen. So for example here in the S uh, in the browser I have opened the CNN page which is in Spanish language. Now I want this word right here to be in English. So all I will do I'll take the S Pen and hover over the word and you can see the S Pen has translated it into English, which means has. Now you can also pronounce this word by clicking on the speaker icon right here. So yeah guys, that's a really nice feature of S Pen. So guys, let me show you one more amazing feature of S Pen real quick. So here in the gallery, say you wanna select a number of pictures. So all you gotta do, you gotta take your S Pen, press and hold and then drag it to the number of pictures you want to be selected. Now this is how you can select your pictures with the S Pen now. Now here is the notification panel which obviously looks flat and clean and you can also adjust your brightness slider by expanding the notification panel. So here in the application uh, settings application you can see it looks well organized and really easy to use. Now on the bottom you have the device maintenance option. So here you can see how your phone is performing, how much RAM do you have and you can also uh, clean up your RAM by clicking on this button here. Now last but not the least, I would like to show you guys the edge panel, so which is right here. Everything is working fine and you can also add the other applications if you are uh, interested. So yeah guys, now I would like to show you how to flash this ROM on your device. So guys, for flashing this ROM, you need to have a rooted device with the custom recovery installed. So I'm right now using TWRP recovery version 2.8.7, so if you don't have it, I'll link it in the description of this video. So on top of that, you need three more files. One is the ROM, the second is the kernel, and the third is the fix of the ROM. I've given all the download links in the description, so just go ahead and download them from there, and then save them either on your SD card or on your internal survey. So after that, you have to click Vibe, Advanced Vibe, select Delve Cache, System, Data, and Cache. After that, swipe to wipe them up and then move to the location where you save your files. So first of all, we are going to flash the ROM. So after that, the Aroma installer will open up. Alright guys, so here you have to select your language. I'm going with English and click next. And here is the change log and agree with the times of use. Um, now here you have to select your model number. So I'm right now using N9005. So be careful with that guys. So after that click next. Um, choose the CSC code. Now here are some mods which you might need to select if you are interested. I'm just going to go with Google Apps because that's all I need. After that click on full wide one. We already did it so that doesn't matter. Just click on next. And here finally you have to click install. Now guys this is going to take like um, 5 to 6 minutes so just don't worry about that I'll show you what you have to do after this finishes. So guys once your ROM is installed you have to click next and just do not check mark reboot your device now because there are two more files that are to be flashed so click on next and move to the location uh, where you have placed, uh, saved your file. So here, now we have to flash the kernel. So here is the kernel, just swipe to flash it and after that we have to flash the fix. Now the fix actually includes the Wi-Fi fix, the GPS fix and some others so just go ahead and flash that as well. So after that you can just click on the reboot system and boot your system up. So guys, the first boot is gonna take like 15 to 20 minutes, so just don't worry about that. Just go to sleep, and when you wake up, your phone would have probably booted up by that time. So yeah, guys, that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and uh, tell me in the comments if you have any queries, and I'll see you guys next time. 
Yeah. Got me in this party all up in a zone. Hot as Betty's trying to take away my cell phone. Like, come and party. I've been trying to shake you off my mind, but just can't get you.